Hey guys, this is Mr. Atkins. I hope you're having a great um, holiday break. I, hey, I just wanted to update you, you on some uh, things that have arose with the Gonzaga tournament. Um, for a variety of reasons, uh, the Gonzaga tournament is um, tragically smaller than it has been in the past. Uh, uh, a couple of these reasons are that, you know, they are just going back to in-person tournaments in the Spokane uh, area. Um, there are teams that have chosen not to um, compete in live tournaments. I think also the um, a tournament in Southern Idaho has gotten big. Um, it has kind of filled in the space, which ends up being about seven hours for us to go. Um, and uh, so there's just a lot of reasons that the tournament is, is a little bit smaller. I think not having the tournament for the last couple of years um, cut into their pool. And then you know, teams started to make other plans. Um, and so the Gonzaga tournament is smaller, especially in the interps. Now there are some of the events that, that don't look a lot smaller, um, you know, than what we normally see at a tournament. Um, the memorized events, short prep, especially impromptu, look pretty healthy, but the interps are really small. Um, and so we kind of were stuck with a, with a dilemma. Do we, do we, A, cancel Gonzaga and try to go somewhere else, B, cancel Gonzaga and take the weekend off, or C, go to Gonzaga and um, make the best of it and try to have a tournament that, that does all the things that we talked about. And so um, really for, it was a pretty easy decision. Um, we do not want to lose the Gonzaga tournament. We want to go there. This tournament has a, a really strong history and tradition in our program um i know that some, a few of you went as freshmen the last time there was a live tournament lots of you have heard from you know your peers about the tournament or maybe even siblings so it's it is a really meaningful tournament um so here's what we're going to do um first of all the, the number one focus still has to be your main event if you're going um even if you really are only basically competing against glacier kids we want you to you get yourself ready as we compete for the state tournament, um, you know, at the end of the month. So that's that's uh, that's got to be number one. But the number two uh, area is that we maybe this is the tournament where you do something that you've always wanted to try or you always had fun. So we we're going to really encourage you to consider adding a second or third um, event or doing something you've never done before if you have time. Now, okay. So first of all, if you choose. To just you just want to do your event that's got to be your focus we're going to ask or require that you do that and then when you're not competing you're going to serve as a, a mentor coach and go watch other students and we'll kind of assign that kind of like we've done in the past if you know um, there is a little bit of downtime if you choose to do that so we're going to have you coach and mentor we it's a closed tab room so we don't get to see scores or comments um, until the tournament's all over so you can serve your purpose there. However, if you want to do a, uh, a different event, I encourage you to do that. I uh, will attach to this email the list of rules that are also on tab room if you want to go in there and look uh, of the events. But here's my thoughts. Um, if you are already doing public forum debate or LD debate, um, and you're signed up for those, I would encourage that you do um, a speech event. You know, the obvious couple are impromptu and or extemp. You've, in theory, done those in your classes um, freshman and sophomore year. There's also an event called EdCom, which is a two-minute speech, a minute 45 to two-minute speech. Think of SNL Weekend Update, where you get to commentary on some current event that's going on, and you, you actually sit and you give that speech. Um, those are the three that make the most sense and would require probably the least amount of extra work. But if you've always wanted to try an interp or you want to do duo interp and you have somebody willing to put in a little bit of time here over the break to put that together, go for it. We, you just got to let me know so I can get you registered. Um, if you're a speech kid, uh, kind of the same thing. Consider doing another event, um, whether it be impromptu or Um edcom or perhaps you've always wanted to try interp interp is where we really do need people 
Um, the numbers are low in POI and DI, especially, I think, but actually humorous in duo too. So if you wanted to do that, um, you know, you do have the option of doing, um, you know, novice debate, um, not policy. Uh, policy kids aren't allowed to double enter, but LD or forum. Again, that's a lot of extra work, and I, and I don't expect the coaches to teach you how to do those events for just one weekend, uh, but, for, but perhaps you have a friend that does that and would be willing to help you, and you've always wanted to try it. I'm up for it if you're up for it. So um, Congress is a little weird, only in that I can't get a confirmation of your schedule. It looks like you follow the same schedule as LD and PF debate. Um, if that's the case, it's the same message I gave to them, you know, do a speech, short prep of it. Um, um, I will, as soon as I get a confirmation on the schedule for Congress, I will let you know. Um, but so I, students, please uh, consider doing this. Let me know if you're like, oh, yeah, I'm doing LD debate, but I really want to try impromptu or I'd be willing to try impromptu or that sounds fun or. I'm already doing oratory and, and duo, but you know, EdCom sounds like something I'd wanna do, or you know, I, I, I wanna put together a ploy, something like that. So um, this, I, I still believe in this tournament. I think it's a really meaningful tournament. I think it'll be helpful. It'll help us build some camaraderie. It will also help you uh, understand a lot of different events. Um, and I do think it's, it's a meaningful and worthwhile tournament. So um, please let me know that you either read this or watched this video. And um, again, I'm pretty excited about the Gonzaga tournament. Um, all the stuff is still, um, you know, important. But this is that tournament where, hey, we've always wanted to do a duo and derp. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the last thing I'm going to say, and I sort of said this before, but I told the coaches that I do not expect them to coach you all up on a new event for one weekend. I really don't. I don't think that's fair to our coaching staff as they're trying to prep for state and all that kind of stuff. However, I know they will all at least give, point you in the right direction. And my, um, my, I guess, request from you is this might be a great chance for you to help somebody from another squad that goes, hey, I want to do humor and terror. My favorite story was, you know, the Grinch is still Christmas. I think I, I've got it memorized. I can do it. I think it'd be really fun. Maybe if you're on the humorous and trip squad, help them out a little bit, watch them, give them advice, that kind of stuff. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I do want, if I don't hear from you, um, that's bad because I should know that you're at least communicating. But if I don't hear from you, I'm gonna assume that you want to just serve the mentor coach role and just do your main event. But otherwise, please reach out to me. Um, Kind of, it looks like January 3rd is the deadline for me to make changes. Um, so before the break is over, you know, it's maybe we could spend the end of this week or, or, or the weekend kind of putting that stuff together. Again, I know I talk a lot and said a lot of the same things more than once, but I appreciate you listening to this and considering doing another event. Go Wolfpack.